Hey guys, it's Gaijin Hunter, and in this video, I'm going to close the case when it comes to whether or not a bounced attack does less damage or not. To do it, we're going to use the great old Daimyo Hermitor and its really hard shell. Now, the Daimyo Hermitor has a weakness of 22% when it comes to cutting damage on its shell. What that means is that it will take 22% of your attack power as damage. Let's do a quick review about sharpness modifiers. Now, as you know, the higher level the sharpness your weapon is, the more damage you do. The sharpness modifier, however, is applied to the weakness of the part that you hit, not your attack power. The end result is pretty much the same, but it's important to know where the modifier is applied. For 22% weakness for the shell, let's see how it changes depending on the sharpness level of your weapon. If you notice here, red does 11%, orange it's 16%, yellow 22, green 23, blue 26, and white sharpness, it transforms that 22 into 29%. Now in low and high rank, which is all that Monster Hunter Cross has, your attack will bounce off the part if you hit it and it's under 25% weakness. This means that in this case, anything that's green or lower will bounce off the shell of the Daimyo Hermitor. In this test, we'll be careful not to hit the shell when the Daimyo Hermitor is in a guarding stance, because when it does that, the weakness shoots from 22 to 30%. For our testing method, we need a weapon that is easy not to miss with, can do consistent damage, and won't require us to hit the shell like 30 times because that would be really tiring. This is a job for the Great Sword. Now there's one thing we have to keep in mind. The Great Sword, as well as the Long Sword, has an additional sharpness modifier of 5% if you hit with the center of the blade instead of the tip. So in order to be consistent, we just want to make sure we're in there really close and we get that 5% every time. If we factor in the 5% sharpness modifier, here is the new hit zone weaknesses for the shell. For green, it's 22% times 1.0, because we have 5% from the blade and 5% from green sharpness modifier, so the hit zone becomes 24%. For white, it becomes 30%. Since green is under 25%, we will bounce if we use a green sharpness weapon, which is perfect for this test. For this test, we'll be using the Seregios Greatsword, which has 195 attack after you factor in the Power Talon and the Power Charm. We'll be using the armor skill crit draw and using only the draw attacks to ensure a consistent critical hit. The charge attack for greatsword gets a 10, 20, and then 30% sharpness modifier so we will not be using those. Here is a simplified formula to understand how much damage we're going to do. We take our raw damage, we times it by our motion value, times it by any affinity boost, and then the combination of both the weakness and any sharpness modifiers. Now there is an overall defense modifier that kicks in for online hunts and also high rank, so we're going to be using offline low rank in order to have a nice controlled environment. The draw attack for the greatsword has a motion value of 48. That means that the power of the attack is 48% of our total raw power. That's the number you see on your equip screen or your status screen. At 195, that means that a draw attack for the greatsword does 93. And if we land a critical hit, which we will, that will make it 116 because a critical hit is 25% more strong. So if we quick look at the weakness and the sharpness modifiers on the hit zone, if we hit the shell with green sharpness, we'll be doing 27 damage. And if we hit it with white, we'll be doing 34. Now, many sites list the sharpness modifier as being calculated before the weakness of the part that you're attacking. And while you'll generally get the same result damage wise, it is misleading because it really doesn't tell you whether or not your attack will bounce or not. The shell for the Daimyo Hermitor breaks at 320 damage. We know this from the official guidebook. A critical draw attack with the Seregios Greatsword with white sharpness does 34 damage. So the math is quite simple. 320 damage divided by 34, so we need 9.4, or 10 hits, in order to break it. We'll also use the same weapon but drop it down to green sharpness for our second test. The attack with green sharpness does 27 damage, so we'll need 12 hits in order to break the shell. When using green sharpness, the weakness of the shell is calculated at 24%, and because it's under 25, all of our attacks will bounce. Bouncing causes you to lose 2 units of sharpness instead of 1, and it causes a really nasty animation that stops you from doing a combo and also opens you up to getting hit. But does it have decreased damage? That is what we're going to set out to prove. Okay, here we go. One, 
two, three, four. Now he's playing hard to get. Remember, we got to hit with the center of the blade. Five. Six. Missed. It's guarding, gotta wait. Seven. Missed. Eight. Nine. And ten. And you notice it cracked. So just as calculated, the shell has broken at 10 hits. Now let's test green sharpness. Okay, here we are, the exact same hunt, the exact same weapon. We just need to get our weapon down to green sharpness. To do that, we're just going to block. Blocking with the great sword does decrease your sharpness, so this is a great way for us to go and do our test subject without doing any damage first. And we are ready to go. Now I am also using the Sidagios weapon, so I got to make sure I don't dodge. Let's hit one if you notice we are bouncing off again because we're at 24% weakness for this part given our sharpness modifiers. Wait for it to start guarding. There's two. There's three. Four. Came close to charging. Five. Six. Seven. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Wait. Ten. Eleven. And this final hit should break it. Boom. There we go. Here we observe that the shell has indeed broke at 12 hits even though we bounced off with every single hit. This proves without a doubt that bouncing off on an attack does not decrease the damage of that particular attack. Now if you go online you'll see some advice saying that if you're bouncing off a part you should never be attacking that part because you're doing little damage. They're not really that right because Bounce off is calculated again by sharpness, not the amount of damage that you're actually doing. Plus, if you use sharpness modifiers like the level 3 charge of the greatsword, even a green sharpness can attack that shell and not bounce off. Also, after you break a part, the weakness of that part generally goes up a lot, sort of like revealing a weak spot. And not to mention when you break parts, you get extra rewards. I hope this video puts the nail in the coffin about the urban legend about the bounce doing less damage. The correct thing would be to say is that it does less DPS if you were intending to do a combo. The fact that you bounced off only speaks to your sharpness, not how powerful the attack was. I hope you guys enjoyed this study, and until next time, happy hunting.